I'm gonna show you how to make a YouTube channel banner so you can make your YouTube channel look more professional. And the best part about it is you don't need to have any fancy software, you don't need a big powerful computer, you don't even need graphic design skills. Seriously, anybody can do this. So we're gonna head over to the computer so I can show you how and we're starting right now. Okay, so the very first thing that you wanna do since there's no software needed is you want to go to placeit.net. And when you're on placeit.net, their system is going to take care of everything for you so that it makes it really easy. So once you're on placeit.net, you wanna hover over designs and then you're going to go down to YouTube templates. And look, if you're on a mobile phone, you can still do all of this. But basically once you're on YouTube templates, if you look at the very bottom of the page here, you're gonna see that there's a lot of pages worth of YouTube related items. But in our situation, because I'm showing you how to make a YouTube banner, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to this side navigation. Now you'll see they have intro make they have looped backgrounds, they have slideshow makers, social media covers. So if you need something for like your Twitter account, for example, you can use that. Um, but we're gonna go down to YouTube Banner Maker. They have 418 options at the time of this recording that you can use. I'm gonna click on that. And then you're gonna see here that, that we have the YouTube banners. And then if we keep scrolling down the page, pages and pages and pages worth of YouTube banners. So I'm gonna pick one that looks good or something that looks cool to me right out of the gate. We're just gonna choose the gaming challenge for fun. Once we are on gaming challenge, you're gonna see a lot of options here on the screen, but I wanna show you how easy this is. So you can see here in the middle, we have gaming challenge, best video games of all time. In order to change that text, you'll see here, we have gaming challenge, best video games of all time. So I'm going to change gaming to Nimmin in this situation, and then challenge, I'll change that to gaming. And then for best video games, since this I notice is in blue by itself, I'm just gonna change this to Call of Duty. And then all of time, I'm going to change to tips and tricks. Now the idea behind what I just did there is I did the Call of Duty in blue because I want that to pull some attention and then I left tips and tricks white um, just for the sake of letting people know what it was that would be offered on the channel. So that's just a best practice thing there. But another thing that you're gonna see on the text side of things is that if I wanna go in and I wanna change, let's say I wanna change the gaming and I wanna change this to something that's red instead of the pink, then I just click it here and then you'll notice that it changes. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to go over to the right side of the screen. Now on the right side of the screen, we have the outline color. In this particular case, it's the outline around the text itself. We have the gradient color, which is the gradient coming up from the bottom in this situation. And then we have the icon as well. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna change this icon. I want this to be yellow, just so it grabs a little bit of attention. So I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm gonna change this to a yellow color to grab some attention there. And one of the things that's really cool about this is you can see down here, the actual icons themselves, we have a lot of different choices that we can make on what arrow that we want. So as we're piecing this together, I'm gonna click on this one. And as we're piecing this together, one of the cool things that's happening is we're taking something that is normally just a template based thing and we're turning this into something that is 100% unique for us, which is pretty cool. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go after this background here, the texture itself. Now you can see the blue here and you can see all these blue lines, right? All this texture stuff that's going on. So for the sake of making things match up a little bit, I'm gonna change that to red as well. And then I'm also gonna go up to this gradient color and I'm gonna go ahead and make that one, make it a little bit darker red. Okay, so now this is starting to come together, be a little bit more custom to me. Now what I'm gonna do is I like these lines and all of this that's going over the image but I wanna go a little bit further and see the other options that they have. So I'm just gonna click around on some of these for the texture itself and see what I can come up with. That's cool. That adds just a little bit of a grungy type effect to it. So if I wanted to do that, then I would be good with this particular situation of what this looks like. Now, as I scroll down the page again, you see the option that I can change the background color itself. So I'm gonna change this to white just so you can kind of see what happens here with the background color. And you can see how it lightens the whole thing up. So if you were going for that kind of washed out background look, then for this particular image, you would be able to change it to white and it would give it kind of that washed out look. But for, the, for this situation, I'm gonna change it back to black because I like that dark rich, you know, that dark rich look that helps the colors pop out. Um, so I'm going to change it to that. But one thing that I am going to do is I'm gonna change the image because this image is really cool, but it's not something that actually looks like gaming to me. So because of that, I'm going to come down here and I'm just gonna see if I can find anything that's just a little bit more gamer focused since I did frame this whole thing around a gaming channel. Okay, 
Now, I'm not even sure what that background is. I don't, I don't know what this image is, but I think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> so in this situation, I would actually stick with this. I think that whole entire look, you know, looks pretty cool. The only thing that I don't like about it is you can see here how this Call of Duty, the blue in the Call of Duty is getting a little bit washed out or covered up from the blue that's happening here on this particular image, but we can fix that. Check this out. See how over on this image, I have this little option to crop. Watch this. When I crop this, now I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to move this up a little bit and let's see if this puts that in a better position. There we go. So now I've still got that look. I've actually moved the background a little bit just so it's more of an abstract thing in the background instead of something specific. And I've moved that blue around so that it's not competing with that call of duty, which would be something that I would be trying to bring attention to in my channel art. But you can see using these different options, you can really customize this to make it completely unique to you. Now, one thing that I do wanna bring your attention to over on the left-hand side, again, that I didn't mention earlier, is you can see here how I've got, you know, Nimmin Gaming and how it's in a very specific font. If I wanted to change that, I can do that here. I can just click into the font and then I can come down and I can change that to something else that I would think that would look good in that situation. But what I'm gonna do is I have it here and that didn't look that great. So I'm gonna keep clicking on options until I can find something that looks a little bit better. And that does look a little bit better. So in this situation, I would just keep that particular thing. And then that would be my channel art. So the next thing that you gotta do in this situation is download it. So once it's all finished, you just simply click download. And then they process your design and then they will send you an email when it's ready. But I do wanna let you know that this comes really really fast. You can see the blue line moving across the screen right now. And now by the time I finished saying that phrase, this is ready to download. So you click on that download option, you add it to your computer or to your phone, and then you can upload that to YouTube as your YouTube channel art. To watch more videos about setting up and growing your YouTube channel, click into this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.